Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to see how to use Google Teachable Machine with Raspberry Pi 4 Raspbian OS Bullseye 64 bit version. Okay, but before we move to our practical friends, if you learn something from our videos, please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay, friends, thank you so much, and let's get started. So, friends, as I mentioned, we are going to see how to use Teachable Machine, a Google machine learning project, with the help of Raspbian OS Bullseye 64 bit version on our Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, for that, first you need to install OpenCV latest version which is 4.6.0 on Raspbian OS Bullseye 64-bit version, okay? I have already created the video how to install OpenCV on Bullseye. I will mention video link, watch video and install OpenCV on Bullseye, okay? Then this is the latest version, okay? So 4.6.0, then I have already installed OpenCV. Now, we need here a TensorFlow main version, not TensorFlow Lite, okay? So first we need to install CVZone and then we are going to install TensorFlow. I have already installed CVZone and TensorFlow, okay? But how to install CVZone and TensorFlow? Simply run the command sudo pip3 install CVZone and just hit enter. It will install CVZone on our Raspberry OS Bullseye. 64 bit version okay as i mentioned i have already installed opencv 4.6.0 okay so requirement is already satisfied because i have already installed cv zone then how to install tensorflow sudo space pip3 space install tensor tensorflow okay and as I mentioned, we are not going to install TensorFlow Lite here. We need a TensorFlow main version, which is TensorFlow. So sudo space pip3 space install TensorFlow and just hit enter. It will install TensorFlow on our Raspbian OS Bullseye 64-bit version. Requirement is already satisfied because I have already installed. Okay. And it's perfect work on Raspbian OS Bullseye 64-bit version. Simple. Now we have done with package installation. Now simply we want to train our model or we can say we want to create our own custom model for teachable machine. Okay. So simply open browser and we need to search for here teachable machine and then as you can see teachable machine dot with google.com this is what their website okay just click on here and it will open their web page okay and as you can see this is what their web page just scroll down and we need to click on here get started and it will open our main page okay then we can see here new project okay then we are going to use image project so simply click on image project then standard image model okay just click on standard image model and now from here we are going to simply capture the images and then we are going to train our model so remember one thing here you need to connect the web camera usb web camera with raspberry pi 4 i already connect the camera with raspberry pi 4 okay then what we are going to do we are going to simply train our class so, so here what we are going to do we are going to create led on and off class okay so i connect the led bulb with the raspberry pi 4 gpio pin number 23 okay so if i open terminal and i have create here a simple python script so nano is our editor nano led dot pi this is what our python script okay so here it is as you can see i have create a simple led on off python script so import rpi.gpio as gpio then import time then gpio.set warnings false led pin is equal to 23 so as i mentioned i have used here gpio pin number 23 for connecting the led bulb okay then gpio.set mode gpio.bcm gpio.setup led pin okay this is what our led pin and then gpio.out then while loop gpio.output led pin we need to mention our led pin because this is the led pin which is our gpio pin number 23 so led pin and gpio.high it will on our led bulb then gpio.low it will off our led bulb okay so this is simple basic script for controlling our led bulb simple so as i mentioned this is what our script 
right now first what we are going to do we are going to create led on class okay so i need to comment led off means uh, low okay so here i am going to mention hash and then uncomment gpr dot high it will on our led bulb so just press ctrl plus x then y and hit enter okay now we are going to run our script so python 3 led dot pi okay now it's on our led bulb now what we are going to do we are going to simply click on webcam and as i mentioned i have already allowed the webcam with the web browser so when you first time click on webcam okay it will ask you to allow access for a webcam with the browser okay so just click on yes then the browser will be able to access your webcam simple so as you can see the led bulb is on so this is what our first class so we are going to simply mention here led on this is what our first class led on and now we need to simply click on here hold to record and it will capture images we need minimum 30 images so just click on hold to record as you can see there is a number right now we have five images so we need here more images so just click on i'm going to capture a 41 images so 43 images is far enough okay so just scroll down and now we are going to create our second class which is led off so right now our led bulb is on so what we are going to do we are going to open again our script just press ctrl c and then we are going to again edit our python script and right now we are going to comment gpl.high and uncomment gpl.low because we need to off our led and just run our script python3 led.py and as you can see right now our led bulb is off okay so this is what our led off class and i'm going to start here webcam okay so again i need to make like this way because we did here perfect picture so as you can see our bulb is off and now simply click on hold to record same process click on and i'm going to capture 43 images that's it far enough okay so now we have two classes led on and their images okay 43 images and now we have led off our second class okay and their 43 images so that's it now we are going to simply click on here train model so just click on train model and it will train our model okay so process is started as you can see preparing training data remember one thing here you don't want to change the page or you don't want to open a new tab okay as you can see the page is unresponsive just click on wait we are going to wait okay and as you can see 0 by 50 again just click on okay just wait And as you can see friends our model trained successfully okay now simply close here and i'm going to make like this way and and right now as you can see this is the preview of our model so right now led is off and led off is 100 percent okay so it means our model is successfully work now simply we need to click on export model just so just click on export model and then click on tensorflow and then click on download my model now it will it will basically convert the model and it will download our model so as you can see converting model process started okay so friends as you can see we have successfully download our model okay so now what we want to do we want to close our browser just click on leave okay and then open file manager downloads and as you can see this is what our model so just right click click on extract here and it will extract our model and labels.txt file now what we are going to do we are going to create a new folder so go to the hairs home right click new folder and you can mention any name i am going to mention as a freedom tech freedom tech that's it just click on ok 
and now what we are going to do we are going to simply move our model and labels.txt file inside our freedom check folder so just right click here click on cut go to the home freedom check folder just paste okay again then downloads folder now labels.txt so just cut go to the home freedom check and just paste here that's it now we are going to create our python script so just open tony python id and we are going to create our script in same folder our freedom tech folder okay so just click on save okay pi and our folder freedom tech and here i am going to mention name simple name test dot pi that's it click on okay now we are going to first import our module so import cv2 then we are going to import our cv zone module so from cv zone from cv zone dot classification module okay so c capital classification module m capital okay so from cv zone classification module we are going to import classifier c capital classifier okay that's it so we are going to simply cross check if we successfully import our module so just save and run okay and you you can see there is some warnings but just ignore these warnings okay we have successfully import our module okay so now we are going to first call our usb web camera as we always do so cap is just our variable cap is equal to cv2 dot video capture and inside that i need to mention the index number so i have here only one camera so zero is the index number okay then we are going to create our variable which represent our classifier so cr is just a variable again you can use any variable okay so cr is just a variable and the variable represent our classifier so function as it is so c is capital classifier okay and inside that classifier we are going to mention our module and our text file so just open file manager and go to the freedom tech folder and right click and rename and just copy the module name copy it and then just uh, open tony python id and in double quote we need to simply paste our module name okay and then we are going to uh, open again file manager and this time we need to mention our labels dot txt file name so just click on rename and then just copy cancel and then here in again single quote we need to mention our labels dot txt file name so cr is just a variable classifier and inside that we need to mention our module and our labels dot txt file name with single code that's it now we are going to simply start our while loop while true okay then rate frame so what we are going to do we are going to simply mention cap dot read okay then we are going to simply resize our frame as we always do so frame frame is equal to cv2 dot resize and inside that we need to mention our frame variable and then our width and the height so width is basically 640 and height is basically 480 so 640 480 this is what width and height now what we are going to do we are we need to call our classifier okay so we are going to create here another variable the variable which represent our classifier so pd is just a variable again you can mention any variable okay so pd is just a variable and we are going to mention our classifier so classifier is basically our cr so cr dot get prediction so prediction p capital prediction okay like this way so pd is equal to cr dot get prediction and inside that simple we need to pass our frame okay and then as we always do we need to show our image okay or we can say we need to show our frame and then we are going to mention our weight key okay that's it this is what our code simple so 
first what we want to do we want to import our module then cap is equal to c2 dot video capture as we always do then we need to create a variable which represent our classifier then while loop then read frame cap dot read frame is equal to c2 dot resize and then we need to create here another variable which represent our prediction so pd is just a variable and then cr dot get p capital prediction and inside that we need to pass our frame then as we always do we need to show our image then wait key and if we press escape key our while loop will be break okay that's it simple now simply we are going to save the code and i am going to start our web camera okay and friends as you can see i have started the camera and right now our led is off and on screen as you can see this is what our class one and led is off now i am going to open our terminal and we are going to on our led so let's just first edit our led dot pi script and right now we are going to uncomment high and then comment low then control x plus y enter and save and now i am going to run the script python 3 led dot pi hit enter and as you can see led is on and on our screen this is what our class 0 and led is on okay again i am going to control c then i am going to edit our script and this time we are going to comment high and uncomment low control x y enter save and i am going to run our script led is led is off and led is off as you can see so this is how you can use google teachable machine program with raspberry pi 4 using cv zone and tensorflow okay i hope you learned something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye